Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. So, today is the day. Uh, can't wait any longer. Um, I need to start getting the stuff that is in my potting shed and in my greenhouse moved so we can tear it down. So, follow me along right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so the potting shed and greenhouse that is behind us there in the back of the garden needs to come down. If you've been watching my videos, uh, you know that I've talked about they need to come down, they're damaged, and we're going to be putting a brand new cattle panel greenhouse in their place. But in order to tear them down, I have to get them emptied out. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Unfortunately, my son is ill. He can't help me. And my husband just had a tooth pulled today, so he can't help me. So today I'm going to have to pull up my big girl panties and get to work and get as much of this done on my own as possible. Uh, hopefully the Lord will be with me and give me some strength because I don't have a lot on my own. But this project can't wait. We are expecting more rain to come and today is one of the few days that it's not raining. So we got to get this job done. So let's get to it. So first things first is I had to get these moved out of the way because they are in the way. Um, we had torn down these cattle panels and the poles and we were going to move them. But because of all the weather and all the mud and everything, they've just been sitting here. And so they're in the way actually of trying to get uh, get in and out of the garden and get things moved so I had to move the poles out of the way and I should be able to get back to my uh, garden shed with my little wagon here and start moving stuff out of that shed and it looks like the birds are are flying around here today so maybe a few of them will visit us as we are working back here So there's a lot of commotion going on right now. Uh, the chickens are over in the coop laying for the day. And uh, well, it is what it is. We live on a homestead, right? So I'm gonna start moving stuff out of the shed and we're gonna get it ready to go. compost tea that I made last year. It's still really good, so we're not throwing it out. I just have to get it out of the way. We have lots of different potting things that we do because we are a landscaping company. Uh, so, <laughs> I have all these different pots and stuff that I have to move as well as the big trays and things. It's a lot to move.
almost time to start putting our hanging baskets out anyway, so good thing it's time to unbury them, right? We have lots of bins of different shapes and sizes that we use to store things, move things around. They've got to come out. Need some jugs for winter sewing? I've got quite a few. <laughs> Thankfully, I've only got a couple of uh, strands of these in the shed. The rest are in the garage. But these have to come out too. A lot more of these seed pots for the farmer's market and other times that we need to pot seedlings. Yep, they have to be moved. you might notice around the homestead and in my garden areas are these flags um, they are utility flags and uh, my husband gets them when he mows people's lawns or does landscaping projects uh, when the utility workers are done with these flags he just pulls them up and we keep them I use them to mark where my perennials are and stuff that way in the springtime when there's nothing seeable we know where those different plants are and it really helps especially if you just planted something last year and you want to make sure that it's going to come up you know where it's located and if uh, need be you can also protect it as well so yeah i have quite a few of these utility flags i have a couple different sprayers that i use uh, one i use for fertilizer uh, organic uh, fertilizer and the other one I use strictly for water so they come in very handy they're both pump sprayers and I love them a lot and then I have this is a stock of broom corn from what I grew last year it's really nice I've had it hanging up in my shed this whole time just to kind of see what it looks like when it's all dried out I have some more tufts over in the garden and I'll see how they're doing but um, yeah this is broom corn it's really really cool it's always good to have a container where you can keep all your hand tools for gardening I have a ton of different hand tools because I tend to leave them around the garden and lose them so I have to buy more but when I find them I put them all back I love this thing. It's great to carry around when you're just getting started in the beginning of the year. It's got all different sorts of pouches where you can put uh, your plant labels, you can put your different tools that you're using, you can put seed packets, gloves. It just works very well. So I love this thing. I just need to be more uh, responsible about using it. So I got my plant tags on that side. So yeah, so it comes in handy when I remember to use it. And hey, I found some more jugs. Okay, so I got quite a bit moved out of the pine shed. Now I need to take it to where it has to go in its various places. I can't really work anymore in there today because I do have a low spot that's filled with water and my poor tennis shoes are getting soaked. Why am I not wearing mud boots? I can't find them. <laughs> They're buried in my storeroom somewhere. Um, I don't usually come out here much during this time of year, so I usually don't keep my mud boots in an easily accessible place. I might have to change that though. <laughs> so thank you for following me along as we started cleaning out the garden shed. I have a lot more cleaning to do, so make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you can follow me along on this big huge project that we gotta get done this year. And as always, I thank you for being with me today. And I hope that wherever you are, you're wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.